Have you ever woken up and wished that your pen case was more complicated? Well, I have, and it seems like Pilot has the solution. So this is the Pilot Otobacco, I think is what it's called. It's actually available um, here in the US from importers, uh, places like Jet Pens. I think it's between 25 and $30. So certainly not inexpensive for uh, a pencil or pen case, but this is a really interesting offering. It offers, it's very Japanese in terms of its attention to detail and over engineering and just overall craziness um, from a product perspective. But I was really quite amused by this, so I thought I'd show it to you. Let's start with, in terms of attention to detail and just overdoing it, let's start with the packaging. So you see, this is made by Pilot, which is, um, as many of you know, my favorite pen manufacturer. And this packaging, it shows you all of the features of the case, which I'll show you. It sort of opens up, and you put pencils in, it holds your phone, it does all this interesting stuff. But what I find really interesting is that the color that's printed on the back, the color of the case, matches the color of the case. Um, I saw this, this, this case comes in a variety of other colors and the color on the back matches the color of the case you get. So pretty interesting that they would print multiple different versions of the packaging to support the color of the product. It's not just in the back, they do it in the, the front as well. Very subtle, but you can see brown case, brown picture um, in the packaging. The other interesting thing is this product is not cheap in Japan. You see it's made in China, but it is a um, you know designed in Japan, pilot Japanese company. It's not cheap in Japan. Japanese products often have a number in the near the serial number and it designates the price in Japanese yen. So 2000 Japanese yen or um, a little under 20 USD. So this is 25 to $30 here in the US, but even in Japan, it's close to $20, not an inexpensive pencil case. So interesting packaging, not a cheap case. Let's see what you get for your money. So first of all, I find it's interesting that even though you have the Pilot branding on the packaging, you don't have any Pilot branding on the case. You have the model name, which is Otobako, but you don't have Pilot anywhere, which I think is interesting. That's the case for their um, like leather pen cases as well. Um, they don't say Pilot on them. They just say the, the model name of the particular case. So interesting little tidbit. So I mentioned this case is over-engineered and just you know, more complex than it needs to be. And that starts with the latching mechanism. There is a magnet and metal, but in addition to that, there's this piece of plastic that locks into the top. So you get a very satisfying click for or, uh, you know, coming together of the magnets, but then you also get a locking, interlocking mechanism here so that the top doesn't move at all when it's in place. Really interesting. Second thing, when you open it, you see the tray sort of opens like this and this comes up so you can hold some, some pens here. It looks like this on the side. But this is also really interesting. You see this little cutout here? The reason for that is you have this ball um, inside here that follows this arc, kind of like a you know, frowny face. And it goes into this hole here and sort of locks into place. It's very easy to dislodge that. And then it locks into place here but it's much harder to dislodge it from this position. So just a, a you know, a, a, seem, a seemingly small thing, but really a lot of detail in the execution and really pleasant to use. So 
really nice and smooth action. Makes a nice satisfying click when it locks into place up there, locks into place down here. So really interesting. The other thing you'll see is there is a rubber strip across the bottom of the case, and that's to hold your cell phone. So since I'm filming this with my phone, um, I can't show you with the phone, but I do have something that is about the size of a phone, which is this um, battery pack here. And I'll show you how it works. So you basically put this here and you have, oops, sorry about that. It basically looks like this um, on your desk. You, you have a place to hold your phone and it works in um, portrait mode like this or landscape mode like this. And the rubber on the bottom makes it so that your phone doesn't slip. And when you have it open, um, if you put your phone or your battery charger in this position, it helps hold the pencil case open so that it doesn't start to fold up against itself. So really interesting. Not sure I ever asked for a pencil case to hold my phone, but there you go. So how many pens can this thing actually hold? Well, let's see. So if we bring back our trusty marketing material here. It says you can hold a couple pens down here. So there's a couple of energy pens down here. And um, so I guess this, this folds down so you can have a couple pens floating there for easy reach. It looks like you're supposed to put some pens or pencils in the protruding part of the, the case. So over here, so put a couple of pens there. And then it doesn't look like you're supposed to put anything here. So you basically you have a couple pens up there, a couple pens down there, and your phone. So that's pretty much what it's marketed to do. So that brings me to the last part of why I think this is such a interesting product. It does a lot of interesting things, whether it's, you know, how it folds, how it looks, the color, the packaging, the magnets, the cutouts for the plastic, the fact that it holds your phone, the rubber stripping here. But the one thing it doesn't do well as a pen case is hold pens. In the marketing, it has four pens. And as you can see, if I have four pens here, that's pretty much what it can carry. Because if you try to fold this up and take your phone away and you try to close this thing, then you got to close this compartment. So you can't really fit a ton more pens in the bottom compartment because this has to fold onto that. So it's not like you can overfill this place because it will bump into this. And it's not like you can put more pens down here because you gotta fold this down to close it. So whatever you put in here needs to fit down here, which means you're limited to the capacity of how big this section is, which it holds two pens. I can't fit a third one in there. So you basically have this fairly large pen case that can hold four pens, as opposed to something that is much thinner like this Lit Lab case that I carry around with me when I travel that holds things in the front and a whole range of stuff on the inside. And volume wise, not much bigger than this since the Pilot is so much thicker. So very interesting product. I'm, I'm very amused by this thing. It is one of the most Japanese products I own. And I know it's not its not a pen, it's not uh, its not even a gel pen or a pencil, this is, this is a pen case. But I think this is super amusing. It does everything well except for the thing that it was designed to do. Um, so very amusing. I think, I, I think these products are cool. These types of things remind me of pens like the uh, uh, Platinum Kiridas, which is a very cool pen, but kind of terrible at what it was designed to do. So I'm amused. Um, not really going to use this. I think I'm probably going to um, probably give, give this away to 
um, some friends so they can get a kick out of uh, seeing this product exists. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of happy this exists. I think it's pretty cool and uh, hope you had fun taking a look at it with me. So thanks for watching and talk to you later.